California and Los Angeles County. The people of the state of California plaintiff versus Conrad Robert Murray defendant. Case number SA073164. Title of court and cause. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Conrad Robert Murray, guilty of the crime of involuntary manslaughter in violation of Penal Code Section 192, subsection B. Alleged victim, Michael Joseph Jackson. Alleged date of June 25th, 2009. As charged in count one of the information. This seventh day of November, 2011, four person juror ID number 145, seat number three. Is this your verdict? Is this your individual and personal verdict? So say you won, so say you all. I do think he was a small fish in a big pond, but as they say, if you can't take the heat, don't commit. Still, I feel sorry for him. Dr. C is guilty, but don't think M. Jackson didn't have a hand in his own demise. Idiots on drugs will bring anyone down. The doctor isn't the only one to blame here. Justice was served. Justice for Michael Jackson. Conrad Murray is a liar, and he got caught in his lies. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. Social media around the globe on fire tonight. In light of today's verdict, Conrad Murray found guilty of killing Michael Jackson. He was handcuffed inside the courtroom. He's in jail tonight. He'll be back in court November 29th for his sentencing, facing up to four years in prison. Welcome back to HLN Special Report. What do you think about tonight's verdict? Give me a call, 877-TELL-HLN. Let's get right to the phone lines. Gloria is in California. Good evening, Gloria. What do you think of today's verdict? Hi, Vinny. Um, I think it was fair and just. Um, you know, that was gross negligence as far as I'm concerned, as far as a medical professional. But my question is, let's go all the way back to the hospital, the emergency room, and the last time that they made an effort to revive Michael, that he suddenly came back. What would the consequences from that point up until now be? What will we be doing? Uh, what kind of statement would the press have made? Um, would they have questioned Murray? Would they have, let's say Michael was back alive, but he was still unconscious. Would they have been questioning Murray? How far would they have gone to try to find out what was wrong with him? Would they have done blood tests to find out there was propofol in his system? If it was, then, you know, would they be still trying to probe that, what would AEG have said? Would they have canceled the thing? I mean, so if, if we had gone in that direction, how would the outcome be as far as Gloria, what we're seeing now? you're making a point that a lot of people are thinking about. You know, what else was going on in Michael Jackson's life? Is anyone else responsible for what happened to Michael Jackson? But I believe if Michael Jackson survived, we would have heard very little about this, and that's because Michael Jackson uh, had a way of keeping control of his entire situation, his entire world. Uh, folks on Twitter tonight, Tanisha, I don't believe MJ wanted him to be guilty. I believe MJ wanted to die like Elvis. That is what he said, Murray. Uh, that is what he said, Murray not guilty. Debbie, I think correct verdict. Doctor has duty of care and didn't act in the best interests of his patient. Wendy, bad doctor, yes, guilty of murder, no. Jackson was a drug user, and I truly believe he did this to himself. Truth be told, 2010. So who's next? Dr. Arnie Klein. The buck shouldn't stop at Conrad Murray. 877-TELL-HLN. I've got uh, Gene Casares with me. Gene, this is where it ends, though, right, in terms of criminal prosecutions. But there are civil cases out there that may uncover more. You know, California is really first in the country to focus on physicians, doctor shopping, prescription shopping. The California Attorney General's office has a database, and, and I think doctors across this state really have to be concerned because physicians prescribing drugs for a known addict is something that they are interested in prosecuting in this state, and we'll see what else comes. But doctors, I think, have to be warned because of this case and other, other statutes in place. Let's take a look at what folks are saying on Facebook tonight. Lupe, finally, 
The jury got it right this time. And I have to stop on that note and go to Beth Karras, correspondent for In Session on True TV. Uh, Beth, uh, obviously what this Lupe is referring to is the other verdict down in Orlando. Beth, from your perspective, what a difference in the air tonight than was in the air last summer in Orlando. Indeed, no comparison, I must say, just a few months apart, you know, we're all experiencing both of them so closely. But the verdict that the jury returned here is what resonates with a lot of people. I know there are some who disagree because Michael Jackson used propofol in the past and other drugs. But the science in this case was on the prosecution side. And the defense did their best with it. But Paul White just couldn't justify the science, at least not to the jury's satisfaction. There was way too much probable fault in Michael Jackson for him to have given it to himself. On Facebook tonight, Judy, Dr. Murray is a victim of the circumstances, so to speak. Wouldn't you say that Michael shares some guilt in this? John, I kind of feel bad for him, but he should have been a responsible doctor. And Marsha, he is a danger to the public, referring to Conrad Murray locked up tonight, while Casey Anthony walks free. We're taking a look at the verdict, but coming up, I want to talk about the legacy of Michael Jackson. What does all of this mean about the legacy of the King of Pop? Plus, we'll take a look at Michael's final performance. Darkness covering Los Angeles tonight and a dark day for Dr. Conrad Murray. The jury of 12 in L.A. earlier today declaring in a loud and clear voice that Conrad Murray is the man who killed Michael Jackson. But one bright spot as this trial draws to a close is that what I saw was a shift, a shift from the focus on Michael Jackson and his legal troubles to taking a look back at Michael Jackson and, and who he was, uh, a musical genius, an entertainer, a performer who will be missed. A.J. Hammer, the host of Showbiz Tonight, which is coming up uh, in just a few moments here on HLN and our continuing coverage of this verdict today. A.J., uh, this trial, what do you think it does uh, to impact the legacy that is Michael Jackson? Well, the good news tonight, Vinny, is that I don't think it damages the legacy of Michael Jackson. I think this becomes part of Michael's story. It doesn't define him in any way. There was a great deal of worry going into the trial, particularly by the family and his most ardent fans, that Michael would be misportrayed, that we would learn things about Michael Jackson that would somehow tarnish his image, tarnish that legacy. I don't believe that happened. Yes, it was very disheartening and disturbing to see a photo of Michael Jackson's lifeless body and hear that audio recording of Michael Jackson barely within his own mind, a recording that Dr. Conrad Murray placed on his iPhone for reasons still unknown to us. But at the end of the day, Michael Jackson was the victim here. This becomes part of the story. It becomes part of his entry, but it certainly does not define him, does not change how we feel about him as one of the greatest performers, Vinny, we have ever known. Mark my words, I'm sure that it hasn't been damaged. AJ, is it just me, or are we hearing more Michael Jackson music being played these days? Because it just seems that way. Every time I turn the radio, it's an oldie station, it's a new station, it doesn't matter. They're playing MJ. There's no question about it. And, and of course, this is common anytime any musical celebrity is in the news for any reason. Radio stations, programmers tend to amp up the rotation on their music. And I think people are starting to feel more celebratory about Michael. And I guarantee you, moving forward, beginning tomorrow and in the days to follow, that will shine even brighter. I think people are going to look back at this not as a bad time for Michael. Yes, he had problems. Yes, he was human. Although some people like to believe that he was beyond human. And in some ways, he seemed that way to so many of us. But at the end of the day, Michael Jackson did have his difficulties, but now we get to celebrate what a, what a tremendous talent. Well stated. A.J. Hammer, we'll see you in a few minutes on Showbiz Tonight right here on HLN. We close tonight, folks, with the final performance of Michael Jackson. It was evidence in the trial. It's the Earth Song, which was recorded just hours before the King of Pop 
Michael Jackson died. What have we done to the world? Look what we've done. What about all the peace that you pledged your only son? What about flowering fields? Is there a time? What about all the dreams that you said was yours and mine? Did you ever stop to notice all the children dead from war? Did you ever stop to notice?